Magandang araw mga kabayan, nagbabalik po muli ang inyong likod pang magbigay sa inyo ng mga bago at nagbabagang mga balita. Hudas at Marites sa Senado, ibinulgar na ni Senator Jingo Estrada. Tila ba matagal na broadcaster ang itinituro ng Senador na Hudas? Kung maalala nyo, merong isang Senador ang nag-leak ng confidential meeting ng mga Senador sa media at talagang galit na galit ang ibang Senador dahil sa pangyayaring iyon. Ngayon, natalam na nila kung sino, siguradong si Bakna sa pwesto itong senador na ito sa kanyang pwesto. Ay ang kailangan ng ating bansa ay leader na hindi marites dahil hindi naman nakakabusog ang mga chismis kundi nakakabanas. Para sa buong detalye, panoorin ang buong video at kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe, pindutin ang notification bell at pilingin ang all upang laging maging... <tinyo> Ang isyo ngang ito ay naging usap-usapin din sa social media. Merong isang netizen na nagsabi, Grabe, hirap na hirap kaming taong bayan kung paano i-budget ang araw-araw namin para lang magkasya ang pera. Pero kayo, grabe kung lustayin ang pera namin sa mga walang kahabuluhang bagay. Sana dumating ang karma nyo. Ang isyo ngang ito ay naging usap-usapin din sa social media. Merong isang netizen na nagsabi, Grabe, hirap na hirap kaming taong bayan kung paano i-budget ang araw-araw namin. Sabi din ng isang netizen, It is not impossible to identify the traitor or traitors because you are 24 senators in the Senate Hall. Get him or them and expel him or them. Sabi din ng isang netizen, It is not impossible to identify the traitor or traitors because Sabi din ng isa, Sino ba at ano bang reputasyon at credibility ng mga Karamihan na kaupo at nagsasalit na ngayon sa Senado. That is why this country will remain at... For the benefit of those watching us, kasi ang puntos is, bakit kayo may executive session? Bakit kayo may tinatago? Wala kang tinatago. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation. Any senator who violates the provisions contained in the preceding section may by a two-thirds vote of all the senators be expelled. Next time around that we are going to have our caucus or uh, executive session, hindi na ako basa-basa magsasalita. Hindi ko naman didesisyonan mag-isa yun. Didesisyonan ko yun based on the debates. I would like to be educated properly based on the rules of the Senate. Let's go! <laughs> President, uh, the uh, gentleman from uh, San Juan, if uh, I'm not mistaken, Senator Jingo Estrada is uh, seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized, Mr. President. Our distinguished colleague from uh, San Juan, former Senate President Pro Temp, Senator Jingo Estrada is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Mr. President, yesterday we had an uh, all senators caucus and we uh, discussed lengthily the budget of the Republic of the Philippines. And uh, just before we entered this August chamber, much to my dismay and much to our dismay, there, were, there was a news report that identified eight or nine senators, and there were names on that list, eight or nine senators who wanted to restore the confidential and intelligence fund of the Vice President and the Department of Education. And I wish to tell the people of the Philippines that there was no votation that happened yesterday with regard to the uh, intelligence fund of the uh, Vice President and the Department of Education. In fact, we had an executive session. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation to this media outlet. I have been a senator here 
for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage. I do not know. I do not want to name names. This is a violation of our rules. And the majority floor leader will expound it later. Mr. President, we tackled, we discussed lengthily for almost two hours the schedule, etc., of the budget of the, Philipp of the Republic of the Philippines. We never touched or we never voted with regard to all the intelligence fund or confidential fund. In fact, we agreed unanimously to remove all the confidential and intelligence fund, not only that of the office of the vice president, including not only that of the Department of Education, but all security or civilian agencies na merong confidential and intelligence fund. Mr. President, I will just read. First on the list, Senator Robin Padilla, Christopher Bongo, Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., R Ronald Bato de la Rosa, Jingo Estrada, Lito Lapid, Francis Tolentino, and Cynthia Villar. They are putting us in a bad light. And I condemn this. And I take offense on this. Nakalagay pa. Senator Pia Caetano is said to be supportive of reinstating Duterte's confidential funds if she can justify the need for them. This is not true. And I hope Senator Pia Caetano will agree with me. Just for a while, Mr. President, tinahanap pa ni Senator Robin yung mga nakasulat. <clears throat> May naroy wifi. <laughs> ano ba tayo dito? Converge, uh, PLDT, Secretary, ADICT, <laughs> Nako. <laughs> Mr. President. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And if I may quote, Anis Cooper told this media outlet that Senators San Yangara Francis Escudero, Rafi Tulfo, Aquilino Pimentel III, and Risa Ontiveros are allegedly against the reinstatement of Duterte's secret allocation, which are lodged under the office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Mali, mali po itong report, Mr. President. And I think uh, Senator Angara must not be included in this list. And among the offices, Duterte's allocation was part of the $1.2 billion in confidential funds that the House realigned to agencies focused on the West Philippine Sea. Mr. President, tumayo po ako dito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way, Mr. President. And uh, Mr. President, I stand before you and I uh, want to make this recommendation, maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them, who among us violated our rules? Who among us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday? That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Jingoy. Before I recognize the other members, I'd just like to put on record, I too am very disappointed. I have been a senator for six plus six, a four plus six, ten plus two, twelve years, and a member of Congress for nine years. And when we say executive session, we are bound by rules of both the House of Representatives and when I was in the House of Representatives and rules of the Senate when I was elected as a senator. 
Um, before I recognize the majority floor leader on the repercussions of violating that rules, I would just like to put on record as well that we had a healthy discussion. There was no voting that took place. There was a healthy discussion on how we will treat this uh, budget, particularly on the confidential and intelligence funds. It's not fair to say that one group was for this and one group was for that, because in the end, tama po sinabi ni Senator Estrada, we were unanimous in the committee report that the good gentleman from Aurora will be presenting today. We are in full support of his committee report. Now, I am very alarmed. As a matter of fact, that's why we were late. I usually try to start at 3 p.m. We had a meeting with the leadership, Senator Joel Villanueva and Senator uh, Lauren Legarda. We met because of the implications of leakages during executive session. The executive department and very uh, sensitive agencies of government may no longer divulge information to the executive session if they know somebody might leak it. That's why I take this very strongly, and I make sure, and I told the majority floor leader that I even called up Senator Nancy Binay, because she's the head of the Ethics Committee, that we have to send a very strong signal that this shall not happen again. So, Majority Floor Leader? Um, uh, yes, Mr. President. Be be before I uh, give my uh, statement, Mr. President, which I, uh, uh, I, I actually agree with your uh, manifestation and the uh, statements made by our uh, dear colleague, Senator Jingoy Estrada, Senator Chis Escudero is uh, seeking the floor to uh, clarify something, Mr. President. Yes, Senator uh, Escudero is recognized. Thank, thank you, Mr. Recognized. President. Mr. President, I agree 100% with what Senator Jingoy Estrada said, that the account is not accurate and that is not what transpired in executive session. I hope, Senator Jingoy, you and I will not be sanctioned for saying part of what happened, as you said, it was the unanimous consensus of the members of the Senate in executive session. So this is not the, 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 the facts contained in the article, Mr. President, Your Honor, is not a leak. So there is no leak to speak of, really, with respect to what truly transpired in the executive um, session, an attempt perhaps to uh, create a story about it. But I confirm the statement of the good Senate President and the Senator Jingoy that it was the unanimous position of the House, what Senate of the Senate rather, what Senator Angara will be sponsoring today and the other vice chairpersons, that was the unanimous position of the Senate and all the members of the Senate. Thank you, Senator Scudero. But before we re ask our colleague to react, Senator, Scud uh, Senator Strada, may we ask the majority floor leader, what are the rules, particularly in executive session? Yes, Mr. President. So we are all very, clear. Thank, thank you very much. Mr. President, first of all, let me state uh, and put into the records that I'm aghast of what happened, Mr. President. Whether this is leak or pure chismis, the fact that it came out, Mr. President, and uh, it appears blow by blow. And uh, uh, unfortunately, Mr. President, the, the figures, the numbers, even the... Uh, uh, the names that were mentioned were, were uh, disoriented, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I would just like to uh, put into the record of this chamber, Mr. President, what our rules say about executive session. Rule, uh, what's this? Rule, on, on, on section 126 uh, of our rules, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, section, sorry, section 129 of our rules. Mr. President, it states here, and I quote, any senator who violates the provisions contained in the preceding section may, by a two-thirds vote of all the senators, be expelled from the Senate. And if the violator is an official or employee of the Senate, he shall be dismissed. I'd like to put that on record, Mr. President, because at the end of the day, it's not just the leak or chismis that we're talking about here, and I agree with Senator Jingoy Estrada being one of our uh, 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 veteran senator here in the Senate, Mr. President. It's more of the sanctity. It's more of the sanctity of the executive session. We continue to uh, perform our duties and responsibilities here in the Senate during committee hearings, 
uh, of Senator Bato, he would call for executive session. Eh, paano ho tayong pagtitiwalaan ng mga nasa executive? Paano tayong pagtitiwalaan ng, ang, ng taong bayan kung ang ating executive session ay uh, nangyayari po yung mga ganitong uh, pangyayari, Mr. President? And so again, Mr. President, let And me may just... Add, may add majority floor leader. Section 28, the preceding section, is very important. The President, as well as the senators and officials of the, and employees of the Senate, shall absolutely refrain from divulging. from divulging any of the confidential matters taken up by the Senate and all proceedings which might have taken place in the Senate in connection with the said matters shall be likewise considered as strictly confidential, confidential until the Senate, by two-thirds vote of all its members, decides to lift the ban of secrecy. Thank so, you, Mr. President. Yung Very clear. Rules natin. Very, Very clear. clear, Mr. President. Yeah. Crystal clear, Mr. President. Mr. President, Senator Jingoy is uh, seeking the floor. Move that yes, to be recognized. Senator Strada. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I would like to associate myself with the uh, comments made by the majority leader. Kahit chismis yan or gossip yan, walang problema sa kanyan. Ang problema, bakit or pa paano lumabas sa isang media outlet yung mga nag-transpire sa ating usap, usapin kahapon. Yes. That is, for me, that is the most important thing. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator, uh, the Minority Floor Leader? Senator Bato, De La Rosa is uh, seeking the Maybe floor. Maybe we can Mr. give President. the Minority Floor Leader first, if you don't mind, Senator Yes, Mr. President. The Minority Leader. Mr. Thank President. you, Mr. President. Ako nga, nangayon ko lang po nabasa, disappointed nga ako sa report eh. Kasi, nasabi doon na uh, against ako sa uh, restoration ng CF ng Office of the Vice President. Tama yun, pero kulang. Kasi kahapon ako sinasabi ko, tanggalin din ang intelligence fund ng Office of the President. So kulang yung, yung report, ipakidagdag sa report. Kasi the Office of the President is, uh, non, is a civilian office, uh, not an armed uh, agency, and a, not a uniformed agency. So kulang po, pakidagdag na lang. You are not violating the rules because you're div divulging your own position. Yes. So, yes, Senator Bato de la Rosa is recognized. Mr. President, it is very unfortunate that this kind of incident happened uh, within our midst. Number one, Mr. President, it uh, creates distrust from among us 24 senators. Ibig sabihin, the next time around that we are going to have our caucus or uh, Executive session, hindi na ako basa-basa magsasalita. Baka mamaya, meron na namang maglilik sa media. So pangit po, 24 lang tayo dito na senador at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa't isa natin, Mr. President. Number two, it tarnishes, it tarnished the image of the Senate. 24 lang tayong hinalal ng buong Pilipinas at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa sa atin na pwedeng nag-leak. If indeed, it was leaked by any member of uh, the Senate. Kung ang nag-leak naman nun ay empleyado na nandun sa loob, well, as a police officer, Mr. former police officer, Mr. President, I can vividly recall kung sinong nandun sa loob. Dalawang staff ni Senator Angara Si, si, uh, ma, ma, Mabik. Oh, attorney Mabik. Attorney Mabik. At may isang kasama si attorney Mabik na babae. So, apat silang na, na nalaman ko na nandun sa loob. Magprangkahante dito. Dapat, we have to made into account yung tao na responsable dito. Hindi lang na magsisente ng stern warning sa kanila. Kundi, the damage has been done. Lumabas na yung balita niya, nasira na kung sinong dapat masira, but I don't care kung masira ang reputasyon ko. Ang sa akin lang, ma-preserve yung ating uh, yung ating uh, reputasyon as a Senate. Hindi Thank po maganda you. yung, uh, hindi tayo magkakatiwalaan dito. 24 lang tayo, Mr. President. And the waiter so, staff, huwag mo kalimutan yung mga staff sa likod. Yung mga waiter din, yung mga uh, Nandun Isama din natin sa investigasyon, Mr. President. So well, if, if, if the, the uh, chamber wishes, 
I can ask Senator Nancy Binay, who is the chairperson of the Committee on Ethics, to look into this closely, if it is uh, all right with the body. Yes, I, I support, Mr. President, I support the, the call of uh, Senator Jingo Estrada that the uh, source of this news, na ito, if, it's, if it is a politiscope, he has to be uh, called by, before a hearing para malaman natin kung sinong source niya. At kung hindi siya magsabi ng totoo, I will be the first one to move for the citing in contempt of that uh, media personnel. Mr. President, ikulong natin yan kung uh, ayaw magsabi ng totoo. Mr. President, hey, this, is not a, this is not a laughing matter. This is serious. People, pa, Filipino people are watching us right now. Sabihin nila, ganyan na pala si Nado ngayon? Hindi ba pagkatiwalaan? Sila sila lang nag-uusap? Maglilik pa doon sa media? It's very dangerous, Mr. President. Very yeah. dangerous. Masyado nga uh, akong uh, disbayado. We Thank agree. you, Mr. President. We, we agree with the gentleman from Davao, and that's why after this proceedings, I will ask Senator Nancy B. and I chair of the Committee on Ethics to investigate the matter. Uh, yes, Mr. President. After Senator, yes. Mr. President. I, may I move that uh, the Senate Committee on Ethics um, conduct a hearing and uh, call, uh, invite, invite the source of the news, Mr. President, so that uh, everything will be cleared out. Yes, we'll ask the majority floor leader to make the proper referral and yeah, motion. Before we, we uh, make the proper motion, Mr. President, may I, may I, may I just uh, appeal to our dear colleagues to uh, hear the, the, the sentiments of our uh, other colleagues. colleagues, other colleagues? We have, Mr. President, Senator Pia Cayetano been waiting for uh, quite a long time. Senator Sherwin Gachalian and, and Senator, Senator Lauren Legard as well. Lauren also is here. No, uh, my, mine, uh, Mr. President, if I may, with the permission of my colleagues, May I request that we discuss this in caucus now? Because by saying what is true or untrue in the reported publication online, we are speaking about the executive session. And let me just remind the body of Section 129 of the Rules of the Senate. It is not even a matter of whether it's published online or hard copy. The mere diver divulging the executive session minutes or any part of it who violates all the provisions in the executive session contained, contained in the preceding sections by two-thirds vote may be expelled from the Senate. It is a very serious violation, Mr. President, by a senator or an officer or a staff in rule, um, what is this? 129. Yes, 129. Section 129. So uh, by saying that it is not true, or it is true in part, but in fact it is this and that, we are actually talking about the executive session. So it is my humble opinion, respectfully, uh, I do not want to muzzle uh, our colleagues, and if they want to speak on the floor, I leave it to your better judgment. But uh, many of us feel strongly about this, and I respect the right of Senator Estrada for standing on the floor. But if we are going to speak about each and every line which was published, whether it is true or not, with all due respect uh, to the publication which I've not read, may we discuss it in caucus uh, in relation to 129 rule of the Senate. That is my humble suggestion. But I leave it to or the members of the Senate if they want to speak, it, speak about it in session. Thank you, yes. Mr. President. We understand that many of our colleagues feel slighted, feel angry and we could allow them to express their uh, personal opinions and release their emotions to this chamber. Yes, uh, Senator Pia Caetano is recognized. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. President, let me um, uh, align myself with the observation and recommendation of the Senate President Pro Temp. Um, I, had, I, I did not stand, I did not raise my hand with the intention of clearing any statement I made. I did not even read that. I don't bother reading those kind of articles. I don't. So, nung nabanggit pa yung pangalan ko, eh, nagugulat lang ako kasi I don't bother reading those articles and I won't comment on it. What I will say is this. Um, I will say it not because I'm repeating what I said in caucus, because I agree with the with, uh, Senate President pro tem, that let's discuss it there. Because if I, even the, 
the, the our rules do not make do not even make an exception. It does not even allow a senator to say, "I will just repeat what I said." Walang ganon exception, majority floor leader, correct? So I cannot stand up here and said, "I will just be responsible for my statement." Ito po yung sinabi ko. Hindi tayo allowed. Walang exception sa rules natin na tumayo ang isang senador at sabihin. Yung akin pong sinabi doon, ito. Kasi hindi naman magkaroon ng opportunity yung ibang 23 senators to explain what they said or what they thought. Because precisely the rule is, lahat tayo tahimik. At kaya ang parusa doon, yung pinakamabigat na parusa na expulsion from the Senate. So, ang puntos ko ay simple. Uh, chairman ako ng isang mahalagang committee na naghihiring ng budget na yan. DepEd, CHED, DOH, uh, and, and attached agencies. So, on the issue of confidential funds, intelligent funds, or kung ano paman, ako, gusto ko, tanungin ng mga senador sa floor yung mga tanong nila tungkol doon para makapag ang bawat senador kung ano ang tingin niyang nararapat na gawin sa mga pondong yan. Confidential, non-confidential, anything. So, yun yung gusto kong klase na diskusyon. So, kung nagkaroon tayo ng executive session na napag-usapan man ng ganun, hindi nga dapat lumalabas yon kasi nga, ang mga subcommittee chairman na katulad ko ay magre-recommend sa chairman na si Senator Angara kung ano dapat gawin sa mga pontong yon Hindi ko naman didesisyonan mag-isa yun. Didesisyonan ko yon based on the debates. I would like to be educated properly based on the rules of the Senate gusto ko marinig yung posisyon ng minority floor leader, ng deputy minority floor leader, ng Senate President, ng Senate President Pro Temp, ng mga baguhan na Senator. Gusto ko marinig lahat yun. Ano ang paniwala nyo tungkol dito sa mga iba-ibang pondo and what will we do about it? Tapos, iharap natin sa taong bayan kung ano desisyon natin. So kaya nga, and I'm explaining this because the students, the young people, the old people who will now care to comment, bakit ba may executive session? Bakit ba kayo nagsisikreto? Eh, wala naman kaming balak isikreto. Ilalabas nga yun. Pero minsan may mga diskusyon na gusto natin marinig yung opinion ng bawat isa na walang titigil nung... Kunyari, gusto ko magtanong ng it's a stupid question. Pero tatanungin ko na, di ako mahihiya. Di ba? Aminin natin. Minsan nahihiya tayong magtanong dahil eh, kasi bago lang ako. Di kaya kami executive session para lahat pwedeng maitanong, lahat pwedeng mailabas. Kaya dapat sikreto yun. And then at the right time, mapapag-usapan. I wanted to explain that lang, Mr. President, for the benefit of those watching us. Kasi ang puntos is, bakit kayo may executive session? Bakit kayo may tinatago? Wala akong tinatago. Nagdidiskusyon ng maayos para bang magulang. Let's say, for example, na wala itong nangyaring ganito, ah, si Sir Muna ni Senate President o kaya ni Senate President Pro Temp, ako, si Sir Muna nila ako, they will do that in private. In the executive session, ay pia, di mo na intindihan. So gagawin namin yun in private para pagdating to sa public, ah, ganun ba? O sige, tatanungin ko na lang in public o kaya di ko na tatanungin dahil naipaliwanag nyo na. That's the reason among many other reasons kung bakit may executive session. I just wanted to explain that dahil ang puntos nito is bakit may executive session at bakit may mabigat na kaparusan. Wala tayong tinatago. But the reason for the rules is because it is meant to be followed. It is not meant to be violated. So kung may nag-violate, magkaroon ng tamang due process, magkaroon ng hearing, magkaroon ng opportunity to explain, and then the proper penalty must be meted out. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Senator Cayetano. Senator Gachalian is recognized. <coughs> Mr. President, I just want to add um, from what uh, Senator Bato mentioned and Senator Cayetano uh, mentioned as well. Uh, the broader implication of this, Mr. President, is the trust and confidence to the Senate. It's our credibility on the line. And um, every budget hearing, normally, a lot of the security cluster, the National Defense, the Department of National Defense, the PNP, the NICA, all of them normally will request executive session so they can tell us what is the reality, the national security situation, national security matters, so that we can act accordingly. Uh, leaks like this will hamper, will, will destroy our credibility, destroy our integrity, and it will now prevent the security agencies to give us the truth because 
they will have doubts in their minds whether the truth or whether information will be kept safe in the halls of the Senate. So, Mr. President, I would like to uh, associate myself with the motion of Senator Bato that this should be looked at and investigated seriously because it's the Senate's credibility on the line, especially whenever departments request for executive sessions and whenever they divulge to us matters of national security. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. And that's why we had a meeting earlier with the leadership, because we cannot take this lightly. And uh, uh, we have to investigate and make sure this does not happen again. Uh, Majority Floor Leader, yeah, would you Mr. like to make the proper motion? Mr. President, may I just ask for a minute suspension? Session suspension. Sa napanood niyong video, mga kabayan, ano naman po ang inyong mga opinion? Ang ating comment section ay bukas para sa inyong mga komento at reaksyon. Huwag kakalimutan. Do not let your thoughts left unspoken. As citizen of this country, your opinions matter. Huwag pong mahihiyang magbigay ng inyong mga salobin, mga kabayan. At syempre, huwag nyo din pong kakalimutan i-share ang video ito upang inyong mga kaibigan at kapamilya ay maging aware din sa kung anong nangyayari sa ating bansa. Huwag din kakalimutang mag-iwan ng like. Hanggang sa muli!